This is New Jersey. I'm Kelly Harris, and I'm the manager of the Stafford Township Art Center, and I'm also the director of the Stack Conservatory. The Stack Conservatory offers exceptional instruction in music, dance, drama, and visual arts for all ages from three years old to adults, and we also have classes for seniors and special needs. I truly believe that arts is what separates man from the beast. Um, humans are the only species that creates art and I, I think that it brings us uh, back to really back to what is humanity and how we can connect with one another how we understand one another um, and I don't think that there's any other profession really that does that well I think that the arts in general are so expressive and I think that they're very important in allowing individuals define themselves within our society you know so much growing up is be who you are be who you want to be who you envision yourself to be and I feel that the arts specifically really help to define who we are as people in, in, as individuals but then also within a greater group I mean artists tend to really come together whether it's visual or performing and they always come together and support each other. You know, I, even though my background is mostly musical theater, I still consider, consider myself and refer to myself as an artist because that's at the core what we all are. You know, there's so much going on in everyday life that music is a great escape. And that's what I call it, the great escape. You can immerse yourself into whatever instrument you want. You can immerse yourself, put on your headphones, and it takes you away. It takes you away from all the everyday hassle that's going on in life. Um, so to me it has always been an escape. When I'm playing, my mind is focused on nothing else but what I'm doing. Um, it's great for kids. It keeps their focus and their attention. It offers them the discipline that you're teaching them in a fun environment. Not, they're not realizing <clears throat> that it is a discipline. So you make it fun and you show them how to do a discipline. So that's what I think is the most important thing to music. It just takes you away. It makes you be places that you can't otherwise go to. It's hard to describe, but that's the way I look at it. It's kind of bearing your soul to everyone, singing especially. Um, 
You need to feel really comfortable in order to do that sort of thing. It's like opening up your diary to everyone for them to read. You, it's, it's also a universal language. So when I was at Manhattan School of Music and there were kids there who didn't speak any English, all we had to do was sing and we all, you know, knew what we were doing. <laughs> I, apparently I was singing at age three or four and I was in my uncle's car and he noticed that I was singing on pitch, which freaked him out a little bit because four year olds don't usually sing on pitch. And my parents took me to singing lessons and I loved it. I just loved everything. And then I just never stopped, you know, and I never, I never thought of it as, oh, it's just something fun to do. I always wanted to do it. I don't think I ever had a specific moment. I think it was just something I was passionate about all the time. So, I mean, recently I've had more situations like that where I've said, yeah, I'm absolutely going to do this. But I don't think it's ever been an option to not have music in my life. I was a little bit of a tomboy as a small person and a good friend of mine was going an audition and we were at a birthday party together and so she was my ride home and so I had to go to the audition with her and her mom was just like just go in sing happy birthday you know it'll be great so I did and then I somehow got cast and after the first rehearsal I was changed forever I know that sounds very dramatic but it's true I I just felt like I knew who I was. I felt like I had finally found a place where people understood how I felt. I mean, I also would dance and sing around my living room constantly, so now this was just a valid public way to, you know, put on a musical in real life rather than in my living room. Um, but then, you know, even in high school, and I was continuing to do theater all the time, um, and I got to a point where it's time to go to college, there was no question. I was like, you know, I have to do this. And obviously people always say, oh, you're going to be an artist. There's no money in that. Right. But I think something that artists all collectively understand is that, yes, we are fully aware of that, but we get something out of what we do every single day that normal people won't understand. They don't know what it's like. They don't know what that feeling is. And that kind of reward and that kind of self-knowing is something that can't be taught. It has to be experienced through art. And, and that's why I've done it for as long as I've done it. I had several moments like that because my father was Lynn Harris. He was actually a jazz musician and um, he played with Chuck Mangione and Liza Minnelli. He actually wrote music for Stan Kenton. Um, and my mother was a Broadway dancer. And so I kind of grew up in this environment um, where my mom literally like drew, uh, she dried my diapers on the ballet bar and I used to crawl under my dad's piano and I remember just as a very young child just laying on my back as my dad would play the piano and uh, you know just shutting my eyes and I think it was more a point that um, how would I not live without it and um, probably the biggest aha moment was my mom took me 
to see the musical 42nd Street on Broadway when I was 13. We had the nosebleed seats and everything, but I was uh, watching it, and that was definitely a big woof came over me, that this is what I want to do. Well, I, as soon as I started playing the drums, I knew this is what I wanted to do, and, and one of my biggest inspirations was uh, the drummer Neil Peart from Rush, watching him, seeing them in concert, and showing that even as he played, he didn't want to quit. He didn't. He never quit. He just always wanted to learn. Then, listening to all those types of drummers, Bill Bruford, Neil Peart, Phil Collins, and then listening to who their idols were and their inspirations. So then I started listening to Buddy Rich, Cozy, pa uh, all the different drummers going on, Louis Belson, and finding that I like that style of music too. Even some drummers that I never even know, but I'm listening to, you can listen to Frank Sinatra, and there's some great drummers on there as well. So it's just that, that passion that, I would say it's the fire that lights itself. It's just a passion that goes inside, so that's what, and it still drives me to this day to pursue, to be the best that I can be at what I, at what I do.